Here is a drama of the home front, about the men and women who are building America's victory fleet. Ships for guns, tanks, planes. Ships for food and medicine. Ships to bridge the world. Sturdy ships, honest ships. Built for America's own fighting forces to carry them to battle and to bring them back victorious. Jeff. Hello, Sam. Oh, Mr. Lessing, meet my brother. Hi, Mr. Lessing. Mr. Gallagher, I'll be running along. What do you want? A job. Yeah? What happened to that foreign correspondent business? Oh, that, that, uh, sort of folded up. Yeah? I guess I just can't stand prosperity. So now you want to build ships, huh? Well, I got a family. I got to keep paying the rent. Family? Got a wife and two kids. Well, you might have let us know. Oh, I'm not much good at writing letters. Skip it. If you're really on the level about wanting work, I guess I can fix it for you. Thanks. I'm not doing any favors. Well, report at 4 a.m. If you can get up that early. Yeah, I think I can manage. I was born on the other side of the clock. Boss. Come in. Well, Than, I got the job. When do you start? Four o'clock in the morning. Good. What's good about that? Here's the setup. We've got a man on that shift. Name's Miller. He knows the ropes. Got his training in Berlin. He'll get in touch with you. Any orders? Just one for the moment. You were born with a chip on your shoulder. So watch yourself. Don't lose that temper. You're not there to attract attention. I'll try and remember that. Starting tomorrow, that's where you live. Tonight you'll sleep at the Rex Hotel. Yeah. I'll sleep in till 3 a.m. The idea of ringing me in the middle of the night. All right, so it's three o'clock, so what? Oh, well, that, that's why I'm sorry, thanks. What is it? It's okay. I'm from Thane. Who's Thane? <laughs> Relax, Gallagher. Okay, McGann. I'll get dressed and be right with you. They're not very formal out there. I think a black tie would do. Uh-huh. Well, I, I kind of figured I'd get into this little organy job. Oh, that'll be lucky. By the way, uh, pistols are not being worn at the shipyards this season. You know, again, I hope you'll be shopping me to work often. Sorry, pal. From now on, you ride the bus. But I, uh, I will be seeing you from time to time, I hope. Maybe. Why? Oh, I don't know. I 
guess I just like Lady Mix. You are Irish, aren't you? Well, uh, only on my father and mother's side. Same with me. Only on my mother and father's side. <laughs> well, this is the place. Yeah, looks like it. How about you and I spilling some groceries somewhere? Oh, that's a lovely idea. May I bring the children along? Sure, bring them all. Why don't you bring your husband, too? Well, uh, only if you promise to bring your wife. He's your new boy, teacher. Just get the breezy approach. My boss here, remember? How can I ever forget it? You don't. Get out of line and you're out of a job. Nothing new about that. All I expect from you is a day's work for a day's pay. Is that clear? Yeah, that's clear. And that's just what you'll get. Good. Hey, Kelly! Brownie! Coming, Jeff! Dry down, and then go over and help Shaw's fight. Yeah, thanks. I love you. Kelly, your new partner. Well, oh, come on, you wanted a job. No oh, kidding, is that where I work? That's where the work is. Wow, oh, I forgot my water wing. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? Cold out there, Ed? The name is Kelly McGee. My name's not McGee, it's Gallagher. Gallagher? Hey, any relation to Jeff? Yeah, a little. We're brothers. We don't work at it. It's still Joe McGee to me. Come on. Something tells me that's not a pet name. Now, uh, that shipyard for Greenhorn. Go there for you. My name's Brownell. Friends call me Brownie. Hi, Brownie. Call me Sam. Hi. Hey, come in, McGee. A runner. <laughs> oh! What's the matter? Can't you take it? Just hit an iceberg. Get over on the other side. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll bring a diamond helmet. <laughs> Grab on and watch those straight edges. Say, look, Kelly, I don't want to put in. Why couldn't they cut all these the same length in the first place? We're trying to build a ways, mister. You know, a thing that lets the ship slide down into the water. Yeah, 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 I know. Fine. Oh, I'm fine, thanks, fine. The saw, McGee, how's the saw? Great, great, nice of you to ask about it. All right, let's hack her off. You're high, watch it. I said watch it. That's what I thought you said. Ah, uh, pull on the saw! Get him out of it! Push it once in a while, do you? Hey! <laughs> That's it, the fire! Have some gavel, power. Thanks! Whoa, brother, am I cold? How are you making out? Why don't you ask Kelly? Get himself bow-legged riding that saw. All right, I know I'm green. What did I do wrong? Everything. Come on, I'll show you. Now? Yeah, now. Just when I'm learning to love an open fire, a nice long vacation, and Kelly. Let's go. You sure like to pick on those McGee's, don't you? I like to see a guy that can do his share. Grab on. Kelly was right, you're riding it. Well, Kelly did all the riding around here. He's a good man. Maybe you ought to listen to him. He might learn something. 
When you make your pull, rock it. See, that clears the teeth. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see those hands. No more cutoff for you today. I'll find something else for you to do the rest of the shift. Say, look, I don't want any favors. You'll do what I say. I'm still boss around here. You know I just found out something? What? You are still the boss around here. Hey, Sam. Hi, Ronnie. Jack Shaw, Sam Gallagher. Hello, oh, Jack. Hi, Gallagher. Jeff tells me I'm to take this over. So I get my panties wet. OK, pal. But watch this gun. It's got no spring. Yeah. I got the same trouble with my knee. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, Brownie. I nearly brains it. That's all right. I never forget the duck. You working for Calship or Tojo? Don't blame him, Mr. Lessing. It's my fault. I didn't show him how to work the gun right. I'm sorry, but it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. We can't build ships in the hospital, you know. Who are those guys? The tall one's Ben Royal, Chief Safety Inspector. The other guy's Lessing, General Manager. Thanks, Brownie, for trying to take the rep for me. Forget it. We gotta work together, you know. Yeah, I hear there's a war to be won. Show me how that works, will you? Sure. Fit it over to the spike like this, see? Then you pull the trigger. Mm. Little stiff, huh? Big stiff. You better come over to the office and sign your death warrant. Huh? So who to notify in case of accident form? I see what you mean. I wish I knew what made you tick, Sam. Yeah, I guess the tires. You like to take me apart and really find out, huh? Yeah, sometimes. The least you could have done was to answer Mother's letter. She was dying. I know. Oh, and another thing. You haven't asked about Lee. What's the matter? Don't you care? Figures you were the one to bring that up. She stuck up for you. Even after you didn't answer Mother's letter or my cable telling you she was dead. She said you probably had a good reason. Should explain everything someday. Well? Oh, I'm sorry about all that. I was pretty tied up at the time. I see. You and Lee married? No, we're not married. Yet. Oh. We were waiting to see if she'd gotten you out of her system. I guess that wife and family of yours ought to take care of that, don't you think? Yeah, they ought to take care of it. Well, remember that if you have to run into it. Remind me in case I forget. I'll do that. Here you are. Beg your pardon, miss? Just a moment. Yes? Sam. Hello, Lee. Where in the world did you come from? I work here. Rookie pile mark. Joe McGee. Jeff never said a word about it. You know, Jeff, he's full of surprises. You're supposed to sign something, aren't you? What? Oh. Oh, yes. I never thought I'd see you working with your hands. Neither did I. Sam, what happened to you? Father, well, eating was a hard habit to break. Oh, now, you don't mean it. You mean you're really down and out? Well, I read this autobiography. I'll explain a lot of things. Sam, you're married to children. How nice. Lee, I wish I could explain. Are you taken care of, Sam? Yeah, everything's taken care of. Why didn't you tell me, Jeff? How does it feel to see him again? Oh? 
was quite a surprise. Do you think you've gotten him out of your system yet? I thought I had. Well, no matter what happens, I'm in your corner. A nice guy to have her on, Jeff. Thanks. Did he tell you he was married? Yeah, put it in writing. Oh, I don't understand Sam at all anymore. Yeah, the both of us. Pile book. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to you. Guy's smart. Yeah. I don't like it, honey. There's something phony about him. Phony? Yeah. I called his old paper in New York last night. Oh? They said they let him out four years ago. Hitting the bottle. Sam never was a bottle man. That's right. You know where he was when they let him out? No. Berlin. You don't look like a girl who'd be driving a taxi. You don't look like a man that'd be riding in one. Anybody home? Oh, hello there. Holy smoke. Mr. Gallagher is Mrs. Gallagher. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Gallagher. This is my lucky day. Well, don't crowd your luck. I figure we ought to look married anyway. Uh-uh. Okay, Mac, relax. Why'd you tip me off this morning? Maybe I wanted to find out just how much wolf my husband had in him. Joan! Paul! You'd better meet the rest of your family, Sam. This is your daughter, Joan. Hello, Joni. Can't you smile? Whatever happened to your tooth? This one's out and this one's coming in. <laughs> this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is your son, Paul. How do you do, sir? How are you, Paul? How are you? Fine, sir. What are you waiting for, Papa? There's one lady who knows how to welcome the head of the family home from work. Would you like us to draw your tub, sir? Well, yes, son. I think maybe I could use a bath. You do look awful dirty. Oh, I do not. <laughs> well, you better run along. Come on, Joni. Your children? Oh, no, hardly. They're orphans, refugees. It's Thane's idea. Sweet, aren't they? Swell. The boy will never do. Why not? Who ever heard of a Gallagher with an English accent? <laughs> well, he's supposed to have just returned from abroad, remember? I can never live up to him. Well, Thane's the beef department. Take it up with him. I'll do that. Uh oh. Here comes company. Know him, Gallagher? Never saw him before. Sam, do you, do you suppose that... Take it easy. I'll talk to him. I'll get rid of this. Here, I'll take it. You're, uh, Gallagher, ain't you? That's right. Can I come in? Yeah, come in. Meet Mrs. Gallagher. I didn't get your name. I'm glad to know you, Mrs. Gallagher. How do What's you on your mind, mister? It's all right. I'm Miller. Okay, Miller. 
We just can't take any chances. We can't afford to. What's the dope? Oh, that's okay. She's on the team. Thane thinks of everything, doesn't he? You can stop what you're thinking and get down to business. I just work here, too. See what I mean? I see what you mean. Okay. Well, that's the way it is. Had a lucky break. Traveled through Germany before the war. Sold Heine's the idea, training me to be a saboteur. When I got in town, I looked up Thane. I'm the pipeline for the whole setup. Well, here I am. Eiling Hitler with my fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good trick if you can do it. But I'm still the new boy. I met two of the team. Nazis slipped in with forged papers. I'll spot them for you if they get a chance. Thanks. Just how much have they told you? Well, nothing definite yet. But it's big stuff. They're gunning for the whole yard. When? And that's what we have to find out. I'll uh, keep in touch with you. Gunning for the whole yard, huh? We can't sell those goose teppers short. They're no dopes. Yeah, I found that out. Got a year to let it sink in behind barbed wire. Hey, uh, you must be pretty tired. Come on, I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Very nice. Thanks. Only your room is over there, Mr. G. We're supposed to be married, remember? Hey, what's the big idea? Well, you take that closet, for instance. I thought maybe it might be a little more realistic with a few of my things scattered around. You know, the homey touch. Look, there's one thing we'd better get straightened out right now. You know something? You're liable to have an awful fall one of these days, jumping to conclusions like that. I just suggested a couple of old suits for, well, you know, stage dressings, props. Did it ever occur to you that we might have company? Oh, I get it. Okay, so long as they're strictly props. Listen, McGann. I just work here, too. See what I mean? Your room is right over there, chum. Can't miss it. Thanks. I'll take a bath and hop into something comfortable. Beg your pardon, sir? Oh, come in, Paul. I've got something for your hands, sir. That's all? What is it? It's oil, sir. You just rub it in thoroughly. Well, thank you, fella. My brother Ronnie always used it when he burnt his hands. How'd he burn them? He was in the volunteer fire brigade until he was old enough for the RAF. I guess he's quite a fellow, isn't he? Yes, sir. He was. Yes, Paul. I'm sure he was quite a fellow. Yes, sir. Paul? You know, I could never completely take the place of Ronnie. But you and I can be great pals. Oh, yes, sir. If I can't take off my own shirt. Oh, that's too bad. Any suggestions, Mrs. G? Well, let me think. I think I've solved your problem. You just take that bath with your clothes on. I already did, Mommy. <laughs> Joni! <laughs> What's good enough for you, Joni, is good enough for me. <laughs> Thanks. 
There's those two saboteurs I was telling you about. Standing over there by the shack. One state expediter. Other fellows perish. One of the bosses on an unsettling game. Thanks, I'll remember. Okay, fella, I'll we'll save for you sometime. Forget it! Joe McGee's, he must have cleaned out the aquarium. How are you gonna build ships with a crew like that? Getting them built, ain't we? You said it. It's not looks we're buying, it's guts. We used to get along without guys like that. Sure, but we're building a hundred ships now to every one you old timers used to build. We gotta have new men, Kelly, and women, wherever they come from. Kids from the sandlots, old buzzards who used to sit around the general store, white collar guys, stenographers. It takes all kinds to win a war. Maybe he's got something there, Kelly. Well, I'm getting sick of wet nurse and a bunch of misfits. Like me, for instance? Yeah, like you. Come on. <laughs> Every time I open my mouth, Kelly puts his foot in it. <laughs> All right, heave her in. OK, here, Red. He's canning. He's canning a little. Sure up. This ends true. I think you got a high pilot, Kelly. What do you know about it, McGee? Now he's gonna bite it. <laughs> What's so funny? All right, Gallagher, raise her a hand. We'll move her over. What's the matter with you, stupid? Signal the crane to lift her. Easy now. I said easy. That's what I thought you said. Where are you, half-witted Joe I'm McGee? I'm sorry, Kelly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Now, listen, Kelly. Hey, cut it out, you guys. Set him up again. Oh, oh, break it up, you guys. I've had enough. That guy's yellow. Wait for me. Everybody back to work. We've got ships to build. What are you trying to do, attract attention? Well, I tried to check it, but I couldn't. Figured my best shot was just what I did. Played yellow. Come on over to first aid. Oh, I'm all right. Now look. Yeah, still... yeah, I know. You're still a boss around. Well, go ahead and say it. You don't do it. Certainly. I know when I'm licked. Well, does this wash me up? That's up to you. Sam, what happened to you? Like that chef. Be very happy to explain. Jeff, hey, wait a minute. What did he mean by that? Oh, nothing. You two been fighting again? Oh, don't flatter him. Kelly socked him and he quit. Sam quit? Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. I saw it. Didn't I tell you this whole setup was screwy? I'd like to know what goes on in that head of yours. Lee, hmm? he might talk to you. <laughs> He's been very careful to skip me ever since that first day. You could find out what all this is about if you tried. I'd rather not. Well, any particular reason? Well, I should think you could guess that. This isn't a personal issue. I just want information. I won't do it. Yes, you will, Lee. All right. But I'm not very good at being impersonal. I'll have to risk that. Sam, I don't like the way you and Jeff are at each other's throats all the time. Why can't you two get along? Let's skip it, shall we? All right. We used to have a lot of laughs together. Gee, we sure did. 
and you've got itchy feet. Had to go see the world. Well, I guess it was spring. Um, where were you married, Sam? Hmm? Uh, London. <laughs> Remember that squeaky swing on my front porch? The night you went away? Yeah. That Daffy Bird that sang his head off the whole night long. <laughs> that was the nightingale. He never came back again, Sam. But I came back late. I wonder. Have I changed much? Mm hmm I have you. Yes, Sam. You're home. Well, thanks for the lift. Well, aren't you going to ask me in to meet your wife? Oh, well, sure. Come on in. Um, you're sure your wife won't mind? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. She'll love it. Children. This is Miss Dameron. Lee, this is Joan. Hello, dear. And this is Paul. How do you do, Miss Dameron? How do you do, Paul? Daddy's got a lipstick. Why, what happened to your head, sir? Oh, I had a little, uh, an accident, Paul. Uh, where's your mother? She's in her room, sir. Shall I tell her we have a guest? Would you please? You too, Joan. Did she hit Daddy? What do you think of the little Galgas? They're lovely children, Sam. Yes, dear? Oh, Jill. I want you to meet an old friend of mine. Miss Damron, this is my wife. How do you do? So this is Lee. I've heard so much about you from Sam. Well, you didn't exaggerate a bit, darling. She is lovely. Well, that's what I always told you. <laughs> you certainly did. Right through our honeymoon. Uh, uh, the bar... I'll get a release. I'll be back. Um, won't you sit down, Lee? Oh, thank you. May I call you Lee? Oh, of course, Jill. <laughs> Were you surprised when you heard Sam was married? Uh, well, yes. You see, he didn't write us. It all happened quite suddenly. Mm. Uh, Paris, wasn't it? Uh, yes, yes, Paris in the spring. Paris in the spring. I've always heard it was quite a romantic city. Any place is romantic with Sam. Yes, of course. Well, I really must be running along. It was delightful to have met you. Oh, it was so nice of you to come. Do stop by again soon. Thank you. I'd love to. Bye, Sam. Bye, Lee. Pretty lady plays rough. Hmm? Oh, well, that. Mm. Uh, one of my co-workers decorated me. Kelly. Uh, Sam, may I make a suggestion? Yeah. In the future, when you bring a lady home, do it at night. What? The neighbors. I saw that pass you made at it in the car. Are you crazy? Oh, Jill, I'm sorry about that. But you don't think that Lee... No alibis, Gallagher. And hereafter, if you must warm over old romances, would you mind staying off the home grounds? You don't think for a minute... No, I don't. And furthermore, I'm not the least bit interested in your personal life. I'm only concerned with the job we have to do. Sir. Son, I ran into a revolving Irishman.
I got all you fellas together because Mr. Lessing has something to say to you. Here's the setup. We're launching a carrier over at North Shore three weeks ahead of schedule. To accommodate it, we've got to extend this dock. And we've got to do it in three days instead of the three weeks we planned for it. Can we do it? Sure. Right, let's go. All right, Jeff. All right, Jeff, you've got a contract. We'll be ready for your flat top, Mr. Lessing. You could save a lot of time if you could yank that pile driver up here just as she stands. Yeah, how about that, Moss? Think you can lift it with a gantry? Just like a feather bed. You sure it's safe? Sure, that gantry can handle 50 tons. Driver only weighs 30. All right, it's your baby. Well, let's get her moved, then. She's as good as moved. All right, rigger. Start rigging, Red. You too, Sam. Right. Grab those snub lines. Hey, Moss, you mind if I roost up there in your cab? You want to nurse your baby through, eh? <laughs> That's all right. All right, Jeff. She's all yours. Thanks. Okay, McGee, we're going for a ride. Take it easy, Jimmy! If you dump that driver, it'll take weeks to replace her. Easy does it.
said that guy was yellow. I must have been colorblind. How is he? Can't tell much yet. Pulse is strong. You better hop in, too. Oh, I'm all right. Can I see him later? Yeah. All right, Kelly, you're in charge now. Carry on. OK, boss, come on, gang. Recess is over. Let's lift that driver. Nice going for Joe McGee. You say the nicest things, Kelly. Sometimes. Pardon me, Mr. Gallagher's room? Yes, it is. How is he? He's feeling better. I can understand that. Hello, Sam. Oh, Jeff, Lee. Hello. I hear you did some plain and fancy high diving this morning. Not so fancy. Well, I guess I ought to thank you. Maybe I ought to thank you. What do you mean? If you hadn't slapped that bolt in the place, Kelly and I might have been horizontal, too. Oh, yeah. There's something funny about that bolt. Yeah. I kind of figured a vibration might have worked it out of place. Might have. Thanks. Anything I can do for you? No, thanks. Well, I only dropped in for a minute. I'll run along. Wait a minute, Sam. Doing what you did this morning makes this kind of tough. But there are a few things I gotta know. For instance? For instance, why are you working at Seaboard? That's easy. Coffee and cakes for the wife and kiddies. Mm-hmm. Lee has some ideas about that setup. She thinks it's a haywire rig. What's wrong with my happy home life, Lee? Your vital statistics ought to add up for one thing. You told me you were married in London. Mrs. Gallagher says Paris. Oh, that's Jill. She, she's a romantic type. She always wanted to be married in Paris in the spring. But she had to settle for London in the fall. I don't believe that's you. That's your privilege. Why don't you quit stalling and come clean? Why don't you get well and mind your own business? He's lying. You could be wrong, you know, Jeff. You think he's on the level? Well, I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt. You wouldn't still be in love with that guy, would you? You want me to be honest, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, I... I can only say I don't know. That rig. You got any idea what caused the accident? Maybe it wasn't an accident. You don't think so? Looks to me like somebody hammered that bolt loose. Well, it'd be sabotage. Yeah. You keep your eyes open, don't you, Gallagher? After all, it was my brother who was nearly killed. I figure I should know what the score is. Good work. Thanks, Mr. Lessing. I won't forget this. Uh, for the sake of morale, I hope you don't say anything to the other men until we're sure of our facts. I let the barbers do all the cabin. What do you think? I think you'd better change your report to read Possible Sabotage. What did you find out? Sabotage. I saw Royal and Lesson go up there. They run into you? They certainly did. What nationality is that Lesson? German extraction. What do you know about him? We checked on him, of course. Claims to be Andy Nancy. Last fall, he tipped us off to a foreign agent. We grabbed him. Well, all that could be a smart front. Could be. Here they come. Hey, 
Gordon's on first, Demand is at bat, we'll run behind. Run behind what? We'll run behind. There's one out. That's a perfect spot for a hit and run. Follow me? Yes, sir. The bowler. The pitcher. I mean the pitcher. Hits Mr. Joe and then runs. Damage hits the ball and he runs. And Gordon streaks for second. But Slats Marion, the Cardinal shortstop, scoops up the ball. What does scoop mean? Johnny, scoop means... Well, scoop means that you scoop... It, it means scoop. Scoops up the ball and snaps it to the bag. I remember a double player. Double play. Gordon comes in, spikes first, runs smack into the second baseman, he drops the ball. He deliberately bumped into the chap? Sure, he ruins a perfect double play, see? But really, sir, that's hardly cricket, is it? We're not playing cricket. <laughs> you big sap. He's ribbing you. Forgive me, sir, but Mother took me to the game this afternoon and explained all the fine points. He's gonna be a pitcher when he grows up. A hurler. You bet you will, Paul. Did you ever hear Red Ruffing? Yes, she took the basket to her grandmas and the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I think it's time for you children to go to bed now. Good night, Paul. Good night, darling. Night, Jody. Good night, dear. What happens to them when this is all washed up? I don't know. Wonderful kids. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I think I'll hit the hay myself. Good night. Oh, uh, I ran into Lee Dameron this afternoon. That must have been a very pleasant surprise. She's convinced we're not married. How cozy for you. Someday a man's gonna be born to learn when to keep his mouth shut. Hello. Oh, oh yes. That for me? All right, I'll tell him. Who was it? Miller. Why don't you let me talk to him? Well, he only had a minute, Sam. He said to tell you he'll look you up first thing in the morning. Good. Now, maybe we'll see some action. Sam. You will be careful. You're not going to start worrying about me, are you? How can I help it? You mean it really matter to you if something happened to me? Of course it would. I want to turn you over to Miss Dameron alive and in one piece. Lessing's house. Lessing, huh? So much for his phony front. Yeah, it turns out he's top man. Who else? Royal. Safety inspector, huh? Another guy named Sims. He's the one who tried to sabotage the gantry. What's the idea? Wanted more time to get ready for that carrier. What's my next move? Uh, you better sit tight. They're getting kind of curious. We've all been told to keep our eye on you until the big day. When's that? The day after the carrier comes in. Hey, McGee. Better duck. I'll take care of this. What were you doing in there? Who wants to know? I do. Who are you talking to? Nobody. I heard voices. I was talking to myself. Yeah? Well, I'd like to know what all this secret stuff is about. Why don't you mind your own business, That's Kelly? just what I'm doing. I'm boss now. Oh, not you, too. Yeah, me. Well, can you forget it long enough to put up your dukes? What? Yeah. We're on dry land now. We haven't got an audience, and I think I can take you. No kidding. A bottle of bourbon says you're wrong. Okay. If I lose, you can put a Mickey in it. Hey, 
Oh, Mrs. G? Meet the guy who decorated me, my co-worker, Red Kelly. Meet the wife. Hello, Red. Hi, Mrs. Kelly. Uh, you boys been fighting? Uh -huh. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like Tim this time. Only by a fluke. We had a bet. I paid off tonight. Uh, what's this supposed off. to be? Christmas? Oh, uh... This is for you, Mrs. Gallagher. Oh, thank you. Oh, just what I needed. I picked them out myself. You did? Oh, they're lovely. Hello, Dad. Hello, Hello Father. Parker. How are you, champ? Uh, Mr. Kelly, this is our daughter, Joan, and our son, Paul. How do you do, sir? Sir, you ought to hear what your old man calls me. <laughs> and this is for you, kids. Thank you. It's a dog. What shall we call him? Teddy bear, because he looks like one. That's right, Joni. Come here, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you are, Paul. You got everything with a batting average. And you gotta be a ball player to protect our investment. What does investment mean? Whatever you do, don't answer that. Joni, that's for you. Yeah, the dollies from your daddy, but the buggy was my idea. Buggy was just as much my idea as it was your about idea. I thought buggy. Uh, why don't you children run and play with your new toys? Yes, Mother. What do you want to lie to those kids What for? do you I want to tell the kids when I thought about uh, the buggy? End of round one. Okay, I guess I got a scram. Start tomorrow, your husband's got a regular chauffeur. Thanks, Kelly. And you'll be ready at 3.30 on the dock. Don't worry about me. I'm always oh, on time. Oh, you Round two. Okay, I'll be seeing. But I thought of the buggy. Ah, that Kelly's a great guy when you get to know him. Mommy, come and dress my dolly. Uh, things are about to pop. Sims and I are going to start wiring the place in a few minutes. He's going to meet me here. Right. Here he comes now. Is that Sims? I know him from Berlin, and he knows me. I think you better beat it. I know I better beat it. Yeah. Anything the matter? Funny. See that guy that just ducked away from the light? Uh huh. What was he talking to you about? Just want to know what time it was. I don't know the name, but I remember the kisser. Last time I saw him, he was in a concentration camp. He escaped. Yeah. What are we going to do? I phoned one of his kids a second. Hey, Sam! Yeah? One of the kids is sick. What? Go ahead. You can use my car. Ah, oh, he's taking mine. Get going. Here. Gosh, that tough. Sure crazy about those kids. Yeah, they're a couple of sweet kids. Well, oh, come on. We still got work to do.
Where are they? How serious is it? Which one is sick? Nobody's sick, Sam. You phoned me, didn't you? Yes, because Miller called and said you've been recognized. I phoned Thane right away. He should be here in a minute. Sam spotted me, huh? I, uh, thought it was a good idea to get you out of the yard before he had a chance to point you out to his playmates. It's a tough break. Perhaps he washes me up in this assignment. I wouldn't know. It's Thane. Yeah. What do you want? We're uh, going calling. Max Lessing will be very happy to see you. Oh, yes. Lessing. That's all right, dear. He's one of Max's boys. Oh, well, that's different. Why didn't you say so in the first place? We're on the same team. Get your hat, Jill. We'll straighten this out with Max later. All right, dear. Just be a minute. Won't need any hat. You're making a mistake, Sims. Come on. But look, all you have to do is phone Max. He'll explain our whole setup. I've already called him. Get moving. Sims, this is my wife. She has a couple of youngsters to look after. I'll be with you, but leave her out of this. I said both of you. Okay. I'd be an awful sucker to argue with a cannon. Oh. Did Lessing tell you anything? It's stalling. Better get my hat. This boy, Sims. Now, Jill, it was an accident. He struck his head on the end iron when he fell. Very fortunate accident. You'll find this work a bit rugged at times. I knew what I was getting into. I want to see how the children are. Very efficient girl. Oh, she's wonderful. Huh? She's... Well, she... She's very efficient. Uh-huh. Very efficient. Hello, Gallagher. This is Miller. Sim's death has brought things to a head. The whole bunch is meeting tonight. Where are they holding the huddle? I don't know yet. Lessing is picking me up in a few minutes. You stick by that phone, I'll call you back the first chance I get. It's the next turn to the right. Well, you certainly picked an out-of-the-way spot this time, Max. Orders from the man who's going to run the show from now on. We thought you were in complete charge. So did I until today. Do you know who it is? Only his name, Colonel Von Braun. Maybe we can get a drink in here.
Gentlemen, I have brought them in, Colonel, as you ordered. Very well, Herr Lessing. Brownie. This is Colonel Hugo von Braun of the Gestapo. You were the man who was with Sims when he recognized this enemy agent? Yes, sir. But you didn't recognize the man? No, sir. Unfortunate. Sims' death was made to look like an automobile accident. You realize, of course, there was no such thing. Sit down, Jim. How did they find out about him? We were the only ones that knew him. Exactly. When are they bringing that carrier in? Right now. The outfitter started on her the morning. I don't think the outfitters will find much to work on. Your preparations are complete? Yes, sir. Good. We'll all report for work as usual at 4 a.m. Before daylight, there will be an accident. Paralyze the whole yard. Then we'll all meet at 4, Colonel? You will not need to meet, Herr Miller. Until our job is done. Because we will not separate. You mean we'll stay right here? That's exactly what I mean. Any objections? Oh, no. Of course not. Yeah. Oh, hello, Chief. Well, I was hoping it was Miller. No one at your end either, huh? Well, I'm going a little nuts waiting at this phone. Can we do something? Now, keep your shirt on, Sam. We don't want to go off half-cocked when we grab these guys. No, no, we haven't located them yet. They're not at Lessing's house. Sure. We're all set to move the minute we hear from Miller. Well, suppose he doesn't call. Suppose they tunnel to him. Don't okay, care. I'll stand by. That guy's put together with dry ice. Queen four. A six. Six deuce. Ace bets. Huh? Oh. Two. The last round. I'm in. I call. Oh. Uh, seen a two. Have to raise it. Five. Beats me. I'm out. I know when I'm late. Boy, I'm thirsty. I call. Queens. And who ends? Pair of aces. Sam. Sounded to me like somebody shot him. Operator! Operator! Time we get started. What about Gallagher? He must be liquidated. I tried tracing the call, Chief, but it's a dial phone. Meet me at the west entrance of the yard immediately. One of our men will pick you up. Take McGann and the kids next door quick. You're apt to have some callers. Right, Chief. Fans orders we get those kids next door. This place is liable to get hot. Well, if anything happened to those kids, I... Me too. You know the house? Yes, Colonel. Sorry, Mrs. McKenzie, it's an emergency. Can you take Mrs. Gallagher to Tilden? Oh, I sure can, my dear. Sit tight.
Gallagher, wake up! Sam. Well, it was Brownie. One of my best friends. Brownie? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Mr. Gallagher, you take care of that Irishman of yours. He's no Joe McGee. Sure. have a couple of our men tail each one of them. They may lead us to the explosives. I'll call out his servitor as he comes through the gate. This fog isn't gonna hurt us any. We'll go in separately. You all know your instructions. Plant the stuff under as many hulls as you possibly can. I'll take the carrier. Blessing. There's enough TNT here to blow up the whole yard. I suppose you'll get a medal for this. We don't get any medals. We get convictions. Take them along, boys. Yeah. Let's have a look. How do you like that? TNT with a time clock. Smuggled in as carbide. Well, it's a cute gag if it worked. Take care of this stuff for us. We want it at the trial. Yes, sir. You'll get it. That all of them, Sam? That's the whole team. Well, Chief, that does it. Nice work, Sam. Listen to me. We got the whole bunch. But you haven't. There's one more. One more? Brownie. Brownie? You just shot Kelly. I'll take care of him. You beat it. Sam! 
I told you to beat it. This joint's liable to blow up any minute. What are you going to do? Just brought that carrier in. Brownie's a cinch to head for that. Get out of here, Jill. Those are orders. I do need you, baby. Take this and don't let anybody off the ship. What about him? Take care of that later. You know, sometimes it takes me quite a while to get a thing through this thick skull of mine. It's an understatement, isn't it? <laughs> Is there anything worse than a bullheaded guy? Well... Mm-hmm. Two bullheaded guys. <laughs> Another Gallagher. Mrs. Jeff Gallagher to you. Is that a good 
come and say goodbye. He'll probably meet us at the station, sweetheart. How long have you been pitching against the Nazis? Oh, a long time now, Jeff. You know, I'd have told you if I possibly could. Yeah, I know. I suppose that's why you didn't answer Mother's letter on my cable, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't get him for a long time. See, where I was, uh, kind of careless about the mail. Nazi prison camp? When I climb out of this hammock, I want you to give me a good poke in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, dear. There's a car coming. What's all of this? Mother said Mr. Thane has found a new home for us. Anything wrong with this one? Oh, may we stay? You bet you can stay. Oh, goody. <laughs> Where's Mommy? She went in there. And she slammed the door. Oh, she did. got here before we left because, well, I, I want to say it's been wonderful working with you and I, I hope we team up again soon. I'm afraid I'll have to wait for a while. And let me accept a commission of combat intelligence. Oh. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I wanted. Well... Jill. I got to thinking about the kids, and I bought this house. Will you marry me? There's a school just uh, two blocks away from here. Will you marry me? There's a there's a ballpark around. Gallagher, you, you talk too much. Daddy must love lipstick. 